Hey, my name's Rhys. Recently I watched a video um, on YouTube about a girl called Olivia Penpraise, um, a young girl who committed suicide due to bullying and obviously had suffered depression for a while. Um, raised, raised it, I guess it kicked, kicked into me and brought up a lot of memories of people that I've known that have committed suicide and suffered with depression. Um, I'm 26 and already I know nine people that have um, taken their own lives. My name's Shane, I'm here to talk about Nick because of the piece that Reese has done, he's contacted his friends and family. I thought it was for a good cause and for a best mate who passed took his own life last year. And the saddest thing is I never knew sort of that he had a problem with depression and I always knew he was different but I didn't know he was getting into heavy drugs and or had a bad problem with depression. I did, I will try harder to help him out and I've made an effort to go see him more. He's done heaps of good things. We used to go surfing together all the time. Once we were at Amity and we're in a park and all of a sudden Nick's just gone sprinting off and a little kid was around a, like a little Bunsen burner and meth had been spilt onto his leg. Nick sprinted and grabbed him and tackled him onto the ground and rolled him in the sand. And he was running towards water because it was his first instinct. All the family was sitting there and just, they didn't even notice what had happened. It was the only one out of the whole park who saw it. I don't know, we spent every weekend together from like, from grade six to grade 10. And I left school and just got busy working and just, sort of just go apart, but the friendship is still there, like your best mates, doesn't matter how long it is apart. That's why I thought he was still cool and still the same best friend I had. I always think of Nick, his pictures in my room and, and he's a best friend and someone I remember for life. Alexandria passed away three years ago. She was 49. She took her own life, unfortunately. But you know, being that you know she was, it was my mum that you know we lost. It does make it a little bit harder to kind of not push on, but kind of get people to understand. Reese approached us about um, doing the mural, um, just as a way to get the word out there. You know, not just you know, focusing on the negative side, but getting everyone together and just to acknowledge the fact that, you know, there are people that do get a little bit down sometimes and, you know, do need a little bit of help and what better way than to, you know, go about it in a way that everyone can understand. Yeah, so it's not really, you know, yeah, one age group, race, gender, everyone suffers, I guess. But it's having the support of, you know, it's not even everybody, just I guess the biggest thing for me is just communicating with people, like not just, you know, when they need it, but just in general. Because the more support you have, you know, the, the less likely you or anyone you know or love is going to, you know, turn down a dark path.
Hi, my name is Cheryl Kuehl and this is my husband Shane Kuehl. We lost our son Taylor on February 13th, 2010 um, due to suicide. Um, Taylor had been depressed for some time unbeknownst to us. Um, he hid it very, very well and never told any of his friends or his family how he was feeling. We've tried to start a bit of a campaign and um, with depression awareness. Um, we've done this through um, help with Taylor's friends, Cameron and Michael Boxall, who started um, a music concert called Bender in the Grass. With depression awareness, we, we've been trying to campaign to make people, and especially young people, more aware of depression and being able to talk to people. Anything that we can do to keep Taylor's memory alive, we we try and do. Um, we don't ever want him to be forgotten. We don't ever want other families to go through what we've been through. If we can prevent that in any way, um, we'll, we'll do it any way we can because no father or mother or sibling should ever have to feel the pain that suicide victims leave behind. Basically, if you're out there watching this video, please share it. Facebook, Twitter, get let's spread the word. Let's try to raise awareness about depression and you know try to save someone else's life out there.